Hey, what's up, guys? Jared Redding and Tyler Kumas here at Vaught Hemingway Stadium in Oxford, Mississippi. They're inside the Rebels, part of the 24-7 Sports Network. Tyler, we got some football here in the stadium uh, this weekend, Saturday, more specifically at 2 o'clock. It's the Grove Bowl, which is well, the Ole Miss football team's annual spring game. But this year, Tyler, Ole Miss is in a situation where Ole Miss has a lot of uh, injuries on both sides of the ball. We talked to Lane Kiffin on Tuesday. He wasn't even sure what the format was going to look like to try to uh, make do with you know what they got with player personnel wise. And we got that answer um, just recently where there's going to be uh, four 15 minute quarters where it's going to be running clock up until about the four minute mark. Some quirks kind of will possibly come along with that. But Tyler, talk about kind of this situation because you know this is one of those where you're trying to figure out certain people, but some people you can't quite get that to the fullest extent. It's, it's going to be nice having the fans back on Saturday and, and back in this stadium. And we're, and we're not too far away from real football, actually. Uh, but you said it. Injuries are going to play a big part in what we see in our takeaways. I know right off the bat, Cedric Johnson, uh, Jeremy James, Michael Trigg, DeAndre Prince, some heavy contributors that have been in black jerseys most of the spring period or limited practice participants. Um, but it'll be a, a good opportunity to see what the new guys bring and, and see how, how much depth this team has. We have a quarterback battle, but I don't know how, how much towards the end of the game that they'll see time. Obviously, um, players like Quinchon Junkins, I don't expect him to play much in the fourth quarter, but just talk a little bit more about the quarterbacks, what we might see on Saturday. Yeah, I think the word that you uh, use, and I think the one that has been kind of thrown around is quarterback battle. Um, but when you talk to Jackson Dart, a guy who started in all but one game last year, you know, he made it kind of very clear, you know, that he believes that it his, it's his job until further notice. And But when you look at guys that they brought in, like Spencer Sanders and Walker Howard, you know, a highly recruited freshman just a year ago, and Spencer Sanders, a guy who's played a lot of college football, it's really uh, hard to kind of look away from that and just wonder uh, what that's going to look like maybe this spring and, you know, possibly in the fall to come. You know, everyone knows that Spencer Sanders, you know, has dealt with, you know, a shoulder injury. He kind of came in as – that gets damaged good, so to speak, but he's getting better as things gone on. And as he's kind of throwing some balls, he's uh, looked better as well. But time will tell to see uh, how that turns out. And we'll actually see him um, in this scroll game with uh, Walker Howard, though. Uh, you know, this is a guy that, you know, among the kind of the spring storylines that we had, they're like, this guy could possibly be the future of, you know, almost football behind center. And, you know, and, he, and, he's, looked, and, and he's looked like that. Uh, to the extent, you know, he's thrown some beautiful deep balls. Uh, some of the best balls that we've seen just all throughout the spring period have come from Walker Howard, but we're going to see all of them here in this stadium. So you can go watch that game on SEC Network uh, Plus at 2 o'clock on Saturday. We'll have coverage from myself, Tyler Comas, and David Johnson. We'll see you then.